Hello and welcome. Metapixel are in here. Can you feel it? The storm approaches, thunderous in the horizon. You may be thinking, what are you talking about, you crazy floating thing? Well, how can I explain? Two days from now, we all shall know who will be the next President of the United States of America, right? Not in my case I shan't. You see, I already have the answer. I know, with 100% certainty, that Hillary Clinton will in fact win the US presidential election of 2016 and become the next President of the United States of America. You can consider it a prediction, or something else. Now now, I know some may think, that because Donald Trump is very popular with a big portion of the population, he must have great chance to win, correct? Some may even think that he might be America's messiah, right oh? Let me burst your bubbles of optimism right there. I bring some dire predictions for you. First, let me tell you that Donald Trump was never a candidate to begin with. Whether he knows it or not, and whether you want to accept it or not, Trump's main purpose has always been to clown the audience, as in literally make a portion of the American population get rallied up behind himself, even though there was never any chance of him winning. As a sick and twisted joke, the establishment has been telling you this to your face since the beginning, and a lot of people still fell for it. It was all a big hype, or should I say no man's sky catastrophic deception. This is not anybody's fault. How could anyone know? But I know that deep inside, everyone could feel that something was not quite right. Yes, if you believed in the false hope, you were trumped by the trump card. But, just like all misadventures of life, it gets worse. Much much worse. Before it gets better. I believe that the stage is being prepared for what comes after the election. After Hillary Clinton's victory, there may be a lot of civil unrest. Some wicked and unthinkable things might be done by some desperate groups. These groups are under a type of mind control trance that induces thoughts of violence and hatred. The programming has been pushed by the so-called alternative media. Whether they have done it on purpose or not, is of no relevance. Alex Jones, a man who used to be able to identify the deception of the mainstream media, has been pushing massive amounts of hysteria and fear into people's minds. The type of mindset he puts his viewers on, is that of hopelessness and agitation. When you combine that mental state with some other degenerating factors and preconceptions, you end up with some very paranoid and disturbed people. This formula can only breed extremism. I wonder what caused this change in Alex's modus operandi. Anyway, the acts of violence caused by some groups will manifest all the conditions necessary for a state of emergency. Once the state of emergency is set, the Executive Order 13603 comes into play. Indeed, the National Defense Resources Preparedness Executive Order can be used if there is extreme civil unrest during the transition between old president and new president. The particular type of civil unrest that I think might happen after the election day, can be classified as an atrocity. On May 18 of 2016, the White House released an executive order titled Comprehensive Approach to Atrocity Prevention and Response. I will read for you the definition of atrocity, as defined by this shit, and also the responsibilities of the government during this particular situation. Definition for purposes of this order, the term mass atrocities or atrocities, neither of which are defined under international law, refers to large-scale and deliberate attacks on civilians, and includes acts falling within the definition of genocide as defined in international law and under U.S. domestic statute. Responsibilities the board shall seek to ensure that mass atrocities, and the risk thereof, are effectively considered and appropriately addressed by the US government, and shall coordinate the development and execution of policies and tools to enhance our capacity to prevent and respond to mass atrocities. Well, if you ask me, I will tell you that I think that Executive Order 13603 will indeed be put in place by Hillary Clinton, to prevent mass atrocities that might be conducted by certain disenfranchised Trump supporters. This is not just some crazy conspiracy theory that I am making up inside my noggin, you know? There is strong evidence to back it up. 
a Trump supporter, which I will not name, said, on Facebook, that liberals will have targets on their backs, and that their skin color will be their uniform. How many people with that kind of mindset do you think it takes to create an ultimate OMG holy shit, it's all going to hell scenario? How many are out there, throughout the entire country? Anyway, if one of these people start causing problems, the stage will be set for all sorts of executive orders and shit. There will be talks of national security threats and all that. I hope people can see that in a globalized world, if this kind of stuff goes way too extreme and the government actually loses control, UN forces could easily be deployed. So, my advice to all the people who may be having violent thoughts is to stop and reflect on what is really going on. I understand that it must be hard to get rid of the Illuminati mind control that you've been subjected to, but you must try. The Illuminati want you to make mistakes, so they can finally have total control over your everything. Do not fall for it. Clearing the mind from fear and abusive thoughts, is the only way to break free from the claws of mind control. About the candidates. The choices that have been presented are bad, as they are both pawns. If you actually look into it, I wouldn't be surprised if Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are actually related by blood, to some royal bloodline, that goes down as far as Roman emperors and all of the pompous fluff. Anyway, for the rest of you who are awake and are not like the mindless sheeple, keep wearing your tinfoil hats. As a matter of fact, you may want to upgrade it with some layers of lead, just in case one day a mushroom cloud appears in the horizon. That's a nice thinker you got there, so protect it from the brain programming radiation waves. Tell me what you think is going to happen after the elections. Do you think Hillary Clinton is going to win? Also, do you think Donald Trump is being used by the powers that be, or does he know exactly what he is doing? Do you think the United States of America is independent from the British Crown, or maybe you believe in the conspiracy theory that royal bloodline dynasties have been infiltrated and in charge of the United States for many generations? At the end of the day, it's just a conspiracy theory, right? It's entertaining, don't you think so? It's all a big show, just like WWE. Coming soon, on November 8, 2016. It may seem like the end is near. All a smokescreen for a much bigger, and deeper, rabbit hole.